Now to breaking news in the dramatic downfall of a one-time cryptocurrency billionaire. 30-year-old Sam Bankman-Fried has been arrested in the Bahamas on multiple charges of fraud related to his crypto exchange, FTX. Billions of dollars remain unaccounted for in a case that's casting a huge shadow over the entire crypto industry. In an SEC complaint just released this morning, regulators wrote this. We allege that Sam Bankman-Fried built a house of cards on a foundation of deception while telling investors that it was one of the safest buildings in crypto. Scott McFarlane is following all of this in Washington. Scott, good morning. This has been quite a story. It is, Gail. Good morning. The Securities and Exchange Commission charges Bankman Freed with orchestrating a scheme to defraud investors. In a parallel action this morning, a federal court in New York will unseal criminal charges against him as scrutiny grows over a man whose business imploded in a matter of weeks. In the emerging, intricate world of cryptocurrency, Sam Bankman Freed was king, running FTX, one of the world's largest exchanges. Until, all of a sudden, in November, the company fell apart and the king was dethroned. And he spoke out about it last month. Look, I screwed up. Like, I was CEO. I, I was the CEO of FTX. And, I mean, that means that I was responsible, ultimately, for us doing the right things. And, I mean, I, we didn't. Investors lost billions and FTX fell into bankruptcy. The CEO who'd replaced Bankman Freed blamed the company's failure on grossly inexperienced and unsophisticated individuals. The nation's Treasury Secretary spoke with Nora O'Donnell on 60 Minutes about the failure before Bankman Freed's arrest. A lot of people have lost a lot of money, and from the details that I'm aware of, the controls were utterly lacking. Consumer protections that um, Americans expect to be in place um, were simply not there. Um, importantly, this company mainly operated in the Bahamas, and I think that wasn't an accident. We do have protections, um, and some of them may even apply to crypto exchanges in the United States. Bankman Freed, who ran the business in the Bahamas, was scheduled to appear before the U.S. House Financial Services Committee today to be put under oath and answer questions about the failure of his company and the shockwave it sent through the digital currency industry. But at the request of American authorities, police in the Bahamas took him into custody late yesterday to face federal charges, including violating securities laws here in the U.S. It remains unclear when Bankman Freed will be handed over to U.S. authorities, but it's quite clear Congress is considering tighter rules and regulations for this emerging industry to prevent future crises from taking down other multi billion dollar companies. Tony? Tighter rules might be wise. Scott, thank you very much.